Happy holidays from the Hart Center here in Worcester. Tonight, Atlantic hockey playoff teams from a season ago meet for the first time in the new campaign. It's the first of two this weekend between Niagara and Holy Cross. Crusader, here goes Connor Welsh, waiting for help, feeds middle, Hodge, great save by Fisk. Up the left wing side, Ty Gagno gets off a shot and it's gloved by Fisk. Krovs gave us a nice breeze through center, Ricketts, good feed to the far side and a golden save by Fisk. McClinsky had it on his own bench, he'll exit. Save for Richard, under his feet. Kept it free to Jessley, in front, back in, what a beauty! Jack Richard kept working hard, and the freshman has his second of the season to tie the game. How about the shift from number 13? He throws the body around just seconds before getting the puck back at his feet in the neutral zone. Gets a little bit of a pick at the blue line. Good backdoor pass right back his way. No chance for Gale. A beautiful connection, and the finish is superb. This little pass right on the backhand. Ooh. Perfect feed, and Richard makes no mistake. One for Holy Cross. Oliphant onside, walks in. What a save by Fisk! Off a deflection, it's Murray. Backhanded to Ranclev. Wrist shot through traffic, score! Purple Eagles thread one through to beat Thomas Gale. We are tied again, 2-2. It's Ranclev right on cue. A beautiful shot through a maze of bodies. Looked like it might have got tipped, but Ranclev leads the line. So for him, his fifth of the season, and right before the goal, it might have on the way through, but this shot is off the post and in. And just like that, we're tied again. Ahern's chance now, gets around Stockfish. Carlin stalking to the near side. Wrap around, Gale got a stop, and it's plugged in for the win! Wallace wins it! In the three-on-three, three, Niagara stuns Holy Cross three to two. It's two members of the quote-unquote fourth line out there that we talked about, how good they've been in this contest. Ahern causes some trouble in front of the net, and next thing you know, Wallace, the freshman, on his backhand, chips it over the glove. You see Oliphant goes down, opens up some space, and then the backhand just chipped in. A great finish from Wallace, and look at the move from Ahern. Works by Oliphant, takes a quick lap, centers a pass out in front, and it's chipped home.